What's up, you all? So, you know, well, first of all, um, it's me, Renisha, the Prophetic Princess. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me, all of that good jazz. Share the video. All right. I was in here recording some scripture for us and working on some content. And this scripture dropped in my spirit. So this is, I'm just going to read it. And then I don't know if I'm going to pray or talk to you. I don't know how this is about to go. And I only have a few minutes left on this phone. I'm using both phones and I have so much content recorded already. Ezekiel 37. I was reading a whole other scripture and this dropped in my spirit. You all know the scripture, most of you. I'm going to read verses maybe 1 to 14, I think. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you. And will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone and when I beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them. Then he said to then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up on their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. So we are cut off of our for our parts therefore prophesy and say unto them thus saith the lord god behold O oh my people i will <coughs> sorry i will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of israel and ye shall know that i am the lord when i have opened your graves O oh my people and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and ye shall live and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, said the Lord. Listen, I honestly believe that the Lord decided to interrupt my time of recording and all of this to remind you to prophesy to your situation. I don't care what anybody is saying. I don't care what the people around you are saying. I don't care what relatives are saying. I don't care what your enemies are saying. I don't care what friends are saying. The Lord is saying, son of man, can these dry bones live? Daughter, son, can these dry bones live? I need you to prophesy. I need you to prophesy over your current situation. I'm talking to you. You that is listening to this video, prophesy. Forget the people. Forget getting on live or doing doing this stuff on social media. Forget them. I need you to prophesy over yourself. Look at your situation. Look at what seems dry. Look at what the hope that seems lost. Look at what seems dead and prophesy. Prophesy to the dry bones. Prophesy to the wind. You need to prophesy. Somebody type it in the comments. Prophesy. I really act like I'm doing this live. Type it in the comments. I have got to prophesy. Listen, I pray over you today the lord wants to resuscitate some things in your life because he interrupted my time of recording i haven't i think i have content recorded that goes like into april right but the editing takes it takes a while he interrupted this i'm i was reading i think i don't know if i was doing psalm 103 or ephesians 6 but he just said ezekiel 37 i put it in my phone I need you all to hear what the Lord is saying. It says our dry bones and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. He said, I'm going to bring you up out of your graves. You think it's dead. It looks real bad. Looks like it's the end. And all these people around you or those that are far off looking, they have all this to say. 
but you need to know that I'm going to put my spirit in you. I'm going to place you in your own land. I hope y'all are catching this. Then you're going, you're going to know after I do this, no matter how dead it looks, after I do it, you're going to know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. I said what I said. It is what I is. Now, I need you to block out the neighbors, block out the naysayers, and I need you to get to prophesying. Father, I cover these people. Everybody that's hearing this word even now, I pray that you stir fire in their bellies even now in the name of Jesus. And may they begin to prophesy, prophesy over their situations. May they go look in the mirror and prophesy over their self. May they prophesy until they see the bones coming back together, until they hear the rattling, until they're he they hear the shaking. And I thank you that you're going to make a believer out of them. He's going to make a believer out of you. In Jesus name. Amen. If you feel led, sow a seed, but you need to prophesy.